welcome to the video where we will learn how to collect like terms. Before we learn how to collect like terms, you should know what are like terms. So, like terms are the terms with the same variables. Well, now you should know what are variables. Variables are alphabets we use in place of numbers. The values we don't know like 2 plus x. x is a variable or 3x means 3 times x and x is a variable. We don't know the value of x. That's a variable. Okay, that's a variable. So the terms with the same variable like 5x and 3x are like terms. Even negative 7x are like terms until and unless they are having the same variable. Doesn't matter how big or small the number is. Okay, negative or positive but it must have the same variable. What if I write 3x square? Now, it's not a like term to the other 3. Or if I write if I write 6xy, this time it comes with a y still, it's not a like term. So, you must have same variable to, to come under like terms, like 6y, 4y, negative 23y, 1000y, okay, so these are like terms, but if I write uh, 7y power 2, it's not, 7xy, it's not, so this is how we identify like terms, same way, even numbers, if they are only numbers without without any variable, they are considered like terms while solving the problem. So if you have a 5, a 9, a negative 3, they all are like terms. And if you have a 3x with them, it's not a like term. So what is the meaning of collecting like terms? Collecting like terms means when the terms are like, you can bring them together. You can add them or subtract them. Okay, but if they are unlike, you can't do anything with them. They will stay the way they are. Let's do some examples. Let's do some examples. So here's an example. Let's say we have a, a, an expression with so many terms. So we cannot just add and subtract them, all of them together. You can't do that. So you have to figure out, first of all, figure out which voice terms here are like terms. So let's do that. So I can see 5a, which is a positive 5a because there is no sign before it. And 2a, a negative 2a, they are like terms, 5a and negative 2a. Okay. Then let's solve them first. Let's solve them first. So it's a positive 5 minus 2. Together they will give you. 3a, 5a minus 2a is 3a. So these two together will come with a 3a, a positive 3a. Now let's see the other ones. So I can see a negative 3 and a positive 7. These two are also like terms. So let's write them here and solve them. Negative 3 and positive 7, they are integers. Uh, negative and positive comes together, you find the difference and the the positive one because 7 is the bigger value so it's a positive 4. Uh, if you don't know how to solve the positive and negative numbers together when integers come together you can uh, look at the video from the card of this uh, you know you can just click on the top of this video the right corner and you will find the video there. So a positive 4, a positive 4. Now I can see 2a square has no other term which is like the same, you know, having the same variable, a square. So 2a square, you cannot solve it anymore, so it will be just 2a square. Same thing with 7ab, doesn't have any other uh, number with ab, so it will be 7ab. And that's our final answer. You can't do anything about it. This is the answer. This is it. Let's do some more examples so we can understand it better. So with this example, we can see 5x, positive 5x and negative 9x are like terms and the other ones let's say a positive 3y and a positive 4y these two are also like terms so let's bring them together let's bring these two first so a positive 5x and a negative 9x again integers 
5 positive and 9 negative, we have to subtract them, find the difference. The difference will be 4, 4x. Four uh, 9 is bigger value, so it will be negative 4x, so negative 4x. Then we will bring y's together. So I think they both are positive, so it's easy to bring them together. Positive 3 and positive 4 will give you positive 7y. And that's our solution to it. We don't have to solve it anymore. You can't just bring 7 and 4 together and write that it's a 3xy, positive 3xy. No, it will be wrong. You can't bring unlike terms together. Uh, although we can multiply them, but we can never add or subtract them together. Let's see one last example before we end this video. So here we can see 2x and negative 4x and positive 7 are like terms, sorry. So these three are like terms. Let's bring them together. Let's write them in the corner here first so we can solve them. We can write them just like numbers as well. We can write them like numbers. So it's easy for us to solve them. So it's a positive 2, negative 4, and a positive 7. So first of all, we do this part. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And plus 7. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5 positive 5. So it will end up, these three will end up being 5x positive 5x. Now we'll bring the other like terms together, which are positive 3, positive 3, and negative 4. So if you bring them here together, 3 minus 4, it will end up giving you negative 1. So it will be negative 1. And that's your answer. You can't just write 5x minus 1 equal 4x or anything else. That is your answer. This is it. This is how we collect like terms. This, this skill is very useful for you in solving most of the algebra questions. So I hope this video is of help to you. Please share and subscribe to support our channel and have a nice day.